At Florida's Kennedy Space Center tonight, the weather held allowing for a historic launch in which NASA handed the keys to a private company, SpaceX. Dusk settled over Cape Canaveral before the dawn of a new era in human space flight. Here, perched atop the pad, sits a ship called Resilience. Here they come. The four astronauts, three Americans and one from Japan, headed for a rendezvous with a rocket and the record books. The biggest crew to launch from U.S. soil since the shuttle program was retired. We're ready. Um, we've spent the last couple of weeks kind of fine-tuning uh, our training. Go for launch. All leading up to this countdown. Two, one, zero. Ignition. Their ride thundered into the Florida sky. And resilience rises. The Falcon 9's booster then separated and landed a bullseye on a barge in the Atlantic to be reused, making future launches cheaper. It's yet more history in a place that's seen plenty. Countdown for Apollo 11. The same launch pad was used for the first mission to the moon. Now this, the first mission as a part of NASA's commercial crew program, essentially a charter flight in a spaceship built by a private company. The ultimate goal is to have more resources to do things for which there is not yet a commercial marketplace, like go to the moon and on to Mars. Also for tourists to eventually travel into orbit. Once space tourism turns the corner, we think we'll see uh, likely topping uh, 100 operations a year. Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen had a front row seat. I've been supporting the families this week. I'm a family escort. They're super excited. You know, we're all a little bit anxious, a little bit nervous, but super pumped. Not there today, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, who has COVID symptoms. He did not have contact with the crew who were due to arrive at the International Space Station tomorrow for a six-month stay among the stars.